Happy New Year's Eve to all you great people. I want to thank you for just an incredible year. I really want to thank you for an amazing year. 2020 has been a year that none of us ever could have forecasted was going to ever, ever turn out like this, right? So hi, all you guys joining me right now. Happy New Year, guys. I love you so much. So nice to see you all. And I just, I just wanted to do a pop on here because I think that sometimes social media can be so informal or sorry, formal rather. And I want it to be informal. I want it to be intimate. I want to connect to you guys and see you live, right? And so many of us don't see each other live right now. And, you know, I'm sorry for that. And I, I wish the bake shop was open so that people could come in and hang out and sit like we've had for eight years and just connect to one another and hug one another. So hi guys. Hi Leah. I love you. Um, and but we're getting there. So this little message is just a little message of hope. And it's a little message of just hanging in there. And we're still having our resilience tested. And we're having this, this our integrity tested, our integrity for ourselves, our integrity for our hearts, our integrity for what we know is, is right. And we have to, we have to hang in there. And there are days, I'm going to be honest, I feel like I'm getting worn down, getting worn down with negativity and getting worn down with people just, you know, not expanding their minds to the truth that is happening in the world. And there, it, it is happening, right? So we're, we, we see this sort of disconnect with, with people not grasping the true message and the true meaning of what's really happening to us right now. So without going into that, because I'm not here to go into that. Hey guys, um, it is right now. I'm just going to remind you all that right now we are in an individual growth time. Collectively, we are all ascending. So collectively, the planet, uh, the planets are lined up, planet earth, is vibrating at a very high frequency right now. So much beautiful stuff is happening right now to support us with all the changes that we need to make as people, as humans, as humanity, and as individual. Because our souls are wanting to ascend. Our souls are wanting to move up a notch. We aren't wanting to stay back with the lies and the corruption and the deceit all the things that have happened to us over decades upon decades upon decades. Our, our souls want to grow. Our souls know that there is a greater place for us all on another level. And we're going to come together in 2021. I promise you. I know it. We are going to come together on such a beautiful, beautiful way. Hello from England. <laughs> oh, hello, hello. Um, we are going to come together in such a beautiful way in 2021. I like, I, I promise you But right now what our job is individually is to let go of what no longer serves us. And I know we've heard this before and we've heard this before. And what does that mean? And to let go of what no longer serves us. So right now in your day, so this is the last day of 2020. This is the last day of 2020. Sit for 15 minutes. Sit for half an hour. Sit for an hour. Sit for however long that you can. First off, I'm going to recommend to meditate. And um, I, I have uh, on my highlights, I have a meditation that I've shared on my Instagram account, the highlights. I think that's what it's called. So I have a meditation that I shared. So go to that. It's 29 minutes long and it's worth, it's so worth it. The other thing I'm going to recommend you guys do is sit and journal and just journal for 15 minutes, even 20 minutes, even half an hour, however long you can give yourself because this, this is a gift to you and sit and write down all the things that have triggered you, all the things that bring you to suffering, all the things that make you go into a place that you no longer want to be. It all doesn't make sense anymore. 
All the stuff that we've hung on to doesn't make sense right now anymore. We are right now moving into our divine purpose. We are moving into something that is so magical and we are going to be turned on like in 2021, like you have no idea. And all the stuff that has held us back, things our mothers did, things our fathers did, things our, our husbands do to us or our, our wives do to us or, you know, our boyfriend or, you know, our boss or all that stuff, all the things that trigger us are reflecting stuff in you. They're reflecting the shadow in you that you have to get rid of. You are the one getting triggered by those people. And now it's your time to let it go. It's your time to let it go. It's your time to recognize and understand that there are things within yourself that have not been resolved and those are the things that are making you go crazy. Those are the things that don't serve you any longer. They're things that have been sitting in you for 40 years, 30 years, 50 years, 10 years. Usually it's childhood shit. It's where it comes from. And all this stuff we hang on to, we hang on to, we hang on to, and we bury it deep in all the DNA of our cells. It just gets buried. You know, a pain body goes there, a pain body goes there, it goes in my knee, it goes in my shoulder. It just stays with us. It stays with us for our lifetime if we don't bring awareness to it. So right now, by journaling, by sitting alone, sitting with some stillness, right now, New Year's Eve day, what a day to do this. And we get the opportunity to let this stuff go. The unresolved aspects of ourself, unresolved. They're unresolved. They're just sitting there and they're just flaring up when someone looks at us, looks at us funny or someone says something that we don't like. Or, you know, there's just, we don't like how someone, you know, glares at us or, you know, our boss says something to us or just how, how they're dressed or, you know, all the things, all the things that we know that are the triggers for us. You can't blame the other people any longer. 2020 is over. 2020 was the time that we got to blame people and we got to, you know, judge people and we got to, you know, try to cancel them and, you know, all this stuff. It doesn't work any longer. 2021 is not going to allow that to happen any longer. We are moving forward into a place of true love and true connection and true, true compassion and empathy for humanity, for one another and for ourselves. This is the time for us to have true compassion and true empathy and true caring for ourselves. We have to bring it all together in that package called self-love because we tend to give other people, the other people in our lives, customers, strangers, we tend to give them, we tend to give them more, more love and compassion than we give to ourselves. Isn't that funny? that we end up giving that, that extra bit of love and that extra bit of space for a perfect stranger. And yet we have a hard time doing it for ourselves. I want to um, do some writing today myself. I'm going to put a blog up, I think. And I feel so much energy and movement flowing through me right now. And I hope you guys too do too. We're, we're moving out of, and we have, we've moved out of the Piscean age and we're now moving into, and we are in now officially the age of Aquarius. And the age of Aquarius is just all about love. And I think, I believe in it. I believe in the planet has, is now vibrating at such a high level and it started on the 21st on the winter solstice. Obviously there was a prelude to it for a few days or so before the 21st, but we, we have, we're experiencing some really crazy energy. 
we we can't we can't be these little minions picture this we can't be these like little minions i love you guys too thank you so much for watching me right now we can't be these little minions that are you know still continuing to be i call it shit disturbers right <laughs> We all are to a certain varying degree because when we go off into our triggered self, the self that is not aligned with, I'm going to say God, not aligned with the universe, not aligned with the collective love of humanity, we're shit disturbers, right? We are not, we are not living to what, what we are, our soul was meant to be. Our soul is something that is you know, such a gift. And we chose to be incarnated for this time right now. You're alive. You are alive witnessing this beautiful transition of this world moving from darkness, from hate, from war, from all the negative stuff. Just think about all the stuff that's happening around us. There's no wars right now, guys. There's no wars happening. There's peace deals being made think about it. The Middle East is willing to have peace deals now. Like, who would ever have thought we would be witnessing this moment in time that, that everybody is coming together? So I just want you to remember this. 2020 is the end of, it's the end of us holding on to our extra suitcases, our backpacks, all the stuff, all the stuff that we packed up to hold on to that, you know, was our, our thing, man. Yeah. You know what? I believe in that. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm going to be this warrior for this and, you know, I'm going to fight for this and, and we're moving away from that and we are moving to love. And I will admit I am a love warrior. <laughs> I will fight for love every time. No one will ever be able to take me down. And something I've realized in 2020 is that the people that have always, who I want to say wanted to take me down or want to cause problems or, you know, that kind of thing are the people that are, are not able to deal with it in their own life. They can't deal with love. They truly have too much darkness. They have stuff like really big unresolved issues. And when they see people that really want to radiate and, and become love beings and just be helpful for humanity and just be a different kind of life path warrior, they have great difficulty with that. And it's okay. So for me, my job is to have compassion for those people that are and those humans, those souls that are, are still not ready to, to grow into all that they are, are meant to be. And that's okay. They're playing their shadow role. They're playing, they're playing their role really well. Because in those shadow roles, when they come into my life, it allows me to hone in on my, my light path that I want to be on even more. It makes me hang on to mine even more. It makes me perfect and learn and evolve on and transcend on my role even more. It's a beautiful thing. So with gratitude, I have such gratitude for, for everybody and everything that has happened to me in 2020. And Aaron and I, we're just talking about this the other day of how grateful we are for 2020 and how we've grown as mom and daughter. Yeah, for sure. We've gotten way closer. We never thought that we could get closer and we got way closer. Um, and we were grateful for all the slings and arrows, all the things that were sort of dealt, you know, to us and thrown on our path because we, we, we got to become closer, as I said, as mom and daughter, but we also, we got to perfect our business more and we also got to evolve as, as humans better. So, you know, perfecting more and going deeper into our meditation practices and, you know, finding the stillness and, you know, I've, I've really lived like a hermit 
really for the last six months or so, um, the last three months more so even in particular, you know, and I, I've spent a lot of time by myself, a lot of time, a lot of quiet time, a lot of introspection, a lot of stuff and just, you know, pulling all the crap out and, you know, then, you know, infusing it with the good stuff. And, um, it's, it's, it's been a magical time and, oh, thank you so much. You guys are just, thank you for all. I love you guys so much. And, you know, it's been my honor for you guys to be on my journey with me and I'm on your journey with you. And I, I'm, I'm so honored that you, you bring me into your life. And, you know, there's people that I have, uh, followed, you know, religiously now is like Phil Good is one. If you guys don't follow him, you got to follow Phil. He's, uh, he's just going through the stratosphere now. And, um, he and I have gone back and forth a couple times and I'm quite honored that he actually put one of my posts actually up on his page even once. And I went, wow, me, <laughs> I'm, going, I'm hitting the big time now. <laughs> um, he's, uh, he's remarkable. And yes, the compassion for ourselves is, is where it's at. If you didn't hear the beginning of my live, like it'll be, I'm going to put it, I guess, up on IGTV afterwards. And it is, it is all of it. If we, if we treated ourselves the way we treated perfect strangers, we would be in a really good place. So, you know, and I catch myself that the, the way that I treat, you know, strangers, customers, people that have come into my life and I don't know them that well, but I, I, I honor them and I, I'm so, I'm so in love with them. And it's amazing that I, I treat them and I've recognized that in myself. I've, I've treated them better than I treat myself. So, you know, I'm always picking on myself or nitpicking this and nitpicking that or whatever. And now it's like, whoa, I'm, I'm just this, this love being this, this, this human that is, is seeking. I'm seeking the, the most evolved place that I can be right now within my, within my realm of who I am. So, you know, to cut myself some slack, I know that I'm growing and growing and growing and there's, you know, work to do. And my, my ultimate goal is to just to ascend to the highest level to serve, to be where I need to be as per, you know, God, as per the universe, as per my guides, just I'm here to serve. And this is, there's a surrender that's happening right now for us. This is, this is where it's so important for us to get to is to, is to learn how to surrender, surrender yourself, surrender yourself to something that is higher than you and let the shit go. All the baggage, all the backpacks, all the deep shadows that are within your soul all the things that you get triggered with. That means that you've got work to do. All the stuff that you get triggered with. You go, oh, it happened again. <laughs> oh, it happened again. I can't blame that person. Can't blame that person. Oh, it's within me. That's the magic. Whew. So I'm going to sign off. And just to repeat this is you guys do a meditation today. And like I said, I've got an amazing one. It's on my highlight there and it's 29 minutes long and it's just such a beautiful transition and it's, it's really worth it. And then, and then spend 15 minutes, 20 minutes, half hour, however long you can and, and grab a journal because I hope you have a journal by now. If you don't just grab paper and pen and just start writing as they say it, they, they say, just bleed on the page. Just, just start writing, writing, writing. And within about five minutes, all the things, and I, I want you to write about the things that you want to let go of, all the things that no longer serve you, all the things that you're grateful for, you can write about that. And you can write about too, all the things that no longer serve you and that you need to let go of. And what I find is that as you start writing and writing and you, you, they start, they say it, you just like bleeding on the page, you end up tapping into a higher frequency 
and it almost is, uh, I'm going to call it, it's a divine practice that the, the divinity will allow you to, um, to not be in control of the words you're writing. Does that make sense? That you are going to be almost channeling your true intuitive guides that are going to tell you what you know you know you need need to get rid of, right? No longer serves you. You know, it could be, it could be things about my dad, things about you know me doing artwork. Um, that's something that you know has has stopped me, and I keep on thinking about my dad. And my dad's been gone; he passed away 25 years ago. And I still have his words in my head that are like, you know, I'm not good enough, right? So like, like this stuff has to go, <laughs> you know, <laughs> after a certain point in time. And, you know, he was, uh, I was 32 years old when he, when he, when he died and, um, I'm 57 and I still carry around that shit. Okay. So we're all human. We all know the things that we have to get rid of. And this is almost going to be a ceremonious time. New Year's Eve day, New Year's Eve tonight, is get yourself ready and primed to just let the stuff go and bring in 2021 in such a beautiful way. With no baggage. Only love. Because the baggage isn't going to work in 2021. I promise you, it's not going to work. We are moving into such a high level. And this is just the beginning of the age of Aquarius, the age of love. This is just the beginning of it. And we are so divinely supported. It is our time now. It is our time now. Joy, love, happiness, abundance. It's all coming our way. All of it. I'm not going to say it's going to be easy for the first couple of months. There's a transition happening right now, but it will be coming. Just have that faith and get yourself cleansed. <laughs> get yourself so beautifully supported. I love you guys. I want you to have a very happy New Year Eve. Have an amazing happy New Year Day. Erin and I might go live tomorrow. I asked her to go live with me today and she said, no, she can't. So I went, okay, well, I'm just still going to do it by myself. <laughs> and um, you're, you're amazing. I love you. You are just amazing beings. Never forget this. Honor yourself the way that you honor strangers. And you'll see a shift happening within yourself. Treat yourself with that same level of kindness. I love you. Have a wonderful, wonderful New Year's Eve.